Hello and welcome to another Raggies uh, beer review. A couple of days after the Raggies beer festival at the Raggies uh, wedding, bow, wedding bow thing. Um, with massive thank you to Urban Chicken Ale, the absolute star of Ilkeston and the local the local area for his craft beers. Um, this is Weak Become Heroes from Urban Chicken Ale. He gifted it to me for my wedding as as. Uh, as like a wedding gift, but as also as a thank you for uh, reviews over the years, and, and yeah, that means a hell of a lot to me. And the man himself is an absolute legend, uh, a really nice person. I could spend all day chatting to him about beer, about the world. You know, he's that decent a person. And um, sometime coming up, there's a tap takeover at the Burnt Pig, another urban chicken ale tap takeover. I'm going to make sure. That un unless I unless I fell over again and done something stupid, hopefully not. Uh, I'll be there doing reviews, and you know something, if, we, if his beer's there and I'm doing a review, please come and join me. Um, we'll do reviews together. So anyway, this is Wheat Become Heroes. It's a pale ale. It's three point six percent ABV. Um, this got a lot took out of it at the uh, at the Raggy Beer Festival. We sealed it up, and. Um, can I do a review now? So it may be, because I've sealed it up, it's going to be a bit lively. I know that. So I just want to reiterate that for anybody looking and thinking, oh, that's a bit lively. Yes, because I've not broke the seal. Um, I'm actually gifting people, friends and beer people, mini kegs. Because obviously I can't drink it all, what's left. And uh, I mean, I'm out of a good go. <laughs> But I can't drink at all, so look at that. Lovely, um, like an easy yellow pour, isn't it? White head, 3.6%. I think in the future you're going to see a lot more beers lower down on the ABV spectrum. Why? Because the government is stealth taxing. Uh, bring, they're bringing it in on beer. And it's basically what the Scottish have done. I'm not sure about the Welsh. What the Scottish government have done is that ABV thing, price per ABV, and it's it's they've brought it in. They're not saying they've brought it in, but they brought it in. It was happening years ago when I worked at Sainsbury's. Started to happen where you're not allowed to sell things below a certain price, and uh, yeah, they've carried on there. Good old Conservatives, lovely. Uh, they they use it as an excuse to um, protect our health. I mean, to be fair. Falling over and cracking your head open on the pavement is not the best way of doing things. So as you can see, lovely white head on this, lovely colour to it. <sighs> lovely tropical uh, aroma coming off it. Touch of zestiness in the background. Oh, 3.6%. It's 12.30 on Sunday, two days after my wedding. Literally, this was only open for five hours and then resealed. So it's it's in good fettle. Tastes like just like it would on cask. That's nice. Got a nice creaminess on the back end. A bit of vanilla sort of coming through. And you bet you're thinking, does he touch rubbish or what? I nearly swore, I nearly swore, do apologise. Young children watch these beer reviews, it sat in there when their dads and mums have got beer reviews on, and, and I know, and I do apologise, I don't, I, don't, I don't swear on purpose, I just forget. Tasting absolutely spot on. Big massive thank you, massive thank you to, to Darren and his good lady for joining us at the wedding um, and for the gift, you know. And uh, I have allegiances to breweries, but I've le I, like most people in life, I love good people. I love people who are nice, who are genuinely good people. And uh, this bloke here, he deserves all the plaudits he gets from his, what he calls, a daft garage brewery. And I've seen it, and it's amazing. Yeah, brewery tours. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think he'd be allowed to. Not sure actually, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, good four point five out of five. Wow, brilliant. And that is my review. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Everyone.